Okay, so a friend of mine asked me to show him the knot I used to tie the leader onto the end of my fly line because I tie my own. As the butt section of my leader, I'm going to be using a piece of 17 pound strand monofilament. Because I'm partial to Stren for fly fishing because it's stretchy. And here's my business end of my double taper five weight. Um, so for lack of a better name for this knot, I'm going to call this the Planned Parenthood because it is definitely an abomination of knots. And uh, it's not a nail knot, it's not a snell knot, it's not a cinch knot. <laughs> it's just the knot I use. So, laying them on top of each other like this, I'm going to leave myself plenty of plenty of uh, running end on the top of here. Down here on the fly line doesn't matter quite so much. But I want to get them well into my finger because I'm going to be using my finger as a vise. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around my forefinger and get it into my forefinger so it holds it. I'm going to go up my thumb going this way and pull it back up and then back down my forefinger and back up my thumb and back down my forefinger always holding it in place until I get about four or five good wraps And then I'm going to transfer this to my other thumb. Now I have a loop. I have a running end. I'm going to put the running end through that loop. Now if I let go of this, it's going to spring out. So I transferred it again. And on this end, the butt section of my leader, I'm going to pull that loop tight. And this is going to make a mess. I'm at that point going to start working it together into a barrel pulling on the loop and that and you're right this is not pretty but there it is all the same okay at this point what's important is that I take both ends of my leader and I pull it tight literally to the point where I'm biting into the fly line like so all right and it's tight it's not going anywhere and if I catch a fish big enough to rip this loose I will have a story to tell I'm then going to take my trimming scissors and I am going to leave just a tiny little tiny little tit there. I'm going to pull this down like this. I'm going to cut it off like that so this is what I have. And then from here what I will do is I will take some head cement, uh, some fly tying head cement or some other kind of adhesive glue or whatever and I'm going to basically coat this in head cement um, and once it is dry I'm going to come back I have just a little too much just a little too much nipple there on the fly line on the on the leader rather and on the fly line and I'm just gonna continue to work that with the tip of the scissor I'm gonna cut a little angle there and again this is not like uh, <laughs> any other knot I've seen anywhere 
and uh, there you go the Planned Parenthood how's that for a not name okay and that's that